My name is Dr. Kelly Ammon. I'm a family medicine physician. I work here with Ogden Clinic and I'm also a medical director here at the clinic. I would encourage those who have previously been hesitant about getting the vaccine to get it now. There's been a lot of discussion and concern about the speed with which the vaccine has been brought to market and been approved. I think we all have to recognize that the technology and the research that have gone into producing this vaccine dates back to 2003. So this technology is not something that's just been created over the last year or two. It's been researched and studied. In addition to that, there's been an unprecedented amount of interest in getting, bringing this vaccine uh, to fruition. A lot of government funding from governments throughout the world. Pharmaceutical companies were working together, actually sharing data with each other, which has never ever happened. And an unprecedented amount of volunteers for these studies to bring the vaccine to market and to a point where we can feel safe about it. It is a safe process, no corners have been cut, it's been studied effectively, and it is a safe vaccine. I believe that uh, with the FDA approval, we can see a lot more people being willing to go get vaccinated, and I believe the numbers are already showing that right now. If anything, it will help those feel more comfortable and more confident that the vaccine is safe, and hopefully those who have been waiting for the FDA approval to come will be willing to go out and receive that vaccine. Uh, Moderna is seeking approval right now and I believe in the next month or so that that approval will come for Moderna. The percentages are just slightly different. Uh, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are very, very similar and very close uh, in how they, they function and work and so they're essentially the same. It's just a matter of getting that data and getting through the process so that we can get the FDA approval for the Moderna vaccine as well. One thing that is certain is that it does prevent serious illness and hospitalization. Uh, right now, the current quoted uh, uh, percentage is that only 0.02% of people who have been vaccinated are hospitalized. There's been a number of questions regarding a drug called ivermectin as a safe alternative to receiving the vaccine. Uh, first of all, prevention is always better than trying to treat a disease, so I'd still recommend the vaccine because it's preventing a serious illness. When it comes to the question of ivermectin, it is currently being studied and evaluated as a drug alternative. So research studies are ongoing, but there is not uh, firm evidence yet that it is an effective treatment. Ivervectin is an anti-parasite medication that is used to treat uh, certain infections, intestinal infections in lice and humans, as well as in animals. And when dosed properly, is actually a safe drug. Um, the question comes in when people are obtaining it by different means and taking them in different dosing amounts that they don't know are proper. That's where it can become dangerous. So ivermectin, although it is a hot topic in the media right now, is currently not considered an effective treatment alternative for uh, the coronavirus COVID-19. One other thing I think I would like to add is that vaccines uh, do carry a risk. All vaccines have a small risk. So for me to say that the vaccine, the COVID-19 vaccine Pfizer or Moderna is safe. Generally it is, but there's going to be some risks to receiving any vaccine. And there'll be a small number of people who will have some complications and who will have some side effects. Um, that's true in everything that we do in medicine. But I still recommend getting the vaccine.